Oh well. Okay. I'm gonna go on mute now. Yeah, like yeah, I was on back on deafen. Both of them back on deafen. I'm assuming they're gonna start soon. Not sure what's happening here. Okay, back into the game. Hey, you gonna go for the hit here? He j oh! Okay, that was kinda nice. He jumped going up the hill so that when he hit the ground, he could get a boost off immediately. That's... That, that, that was kinda... Like, kinda shooting right there. My goat. Boys. I don't know. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> this that one is looking pretty good on rings right now. Yeah, and he has a very strong lead. Not having to burn through too many of them, keep it. The deal with the maximum mind. He's not gonna be able to utilize it too much since this is playing advantage key, so can't burn through too much there. Advanced reading and air fishing gear, not too bad. Let's see. Oh, Joe choosing not to boost there. Interesting. Okay, I think this is maybe a Lila's favorite. I'm not going to call anything yet, but it'd be very hard for Joe to catch up without any type trick that's not being able to utilize him like this full potential. I think this may or may not have been one of the stages where I think Default would actually shine out. Oh, Light was choosing to burn through his rings. That might hurt him. Possibly. Okay, this might be Joe's chance to catch up. Ah, oh, choosing your... Oh, coming in for oh. the final stretch. Oh, oh no, he's he's unfortunate by Joe. Another unfortunate. That was... I wouldn't say it's not close, but that was definitely a risky game. Good job to put everything on the line to catch up, being behind for most of the race. That last turn definitely could have been a chance to win. But, alas, game one going to light was... So we got, ain't no way, Egg Factory, this is crazy, I, th I think I'd know what Lyle was going to pick here, <laughs> there it is, and Joe choosing to swap to Power Up Gear, well, let's see, we've got E10B Trap Gear versus Shadow Power Up Gear, let's see which one triumphs, oh, well, um, that's insanely bad to get trapped here. Let's see what happens now. I think it's a good idea to go type it out on against trapped gear wall things, but let's see what Joe can do. Start off with a strong lead here and there. Ooh, he's not gonna oh, be able to get. Oh, no, no, no. he tried to boost the tomato. He did most of it. Oh. He's gonna drop another one. He's gonna go. Oh. Oh, the would you look at that? The, hit. the attack he, doesn't connect, actually. He runs into the wall, not allowing him yeah. to get the hit off. Unfortunately, but he does have the might... lead. This is still really good position right now. Good yeah, job. this might be Joe's chance to keep the lead. If he can run with his lead, he may just have a chance to get trapped here. Yeah, although dropping tornadoes against trapped here is not a good idea. He can't boost. He doesn't suffer from the effect of tornado pass or tornado tank. So let's see. Oh, I was getting bottom path. That's gonna be really bad for him. It's certainly starting to see. Yeah. Certainly starting to see the downside to playing trap gear on the stage when behind it. Oh, j j j j Joe. J <laughs> Little bit of a hiccup there. Yeah, but it's definitely starting to show like the advantages and weaknesses of playing trap gear on the stage. Although, like, this is ahead for most of the. Oh my God. Oh yeah, my he's God. dead. Yo, the classic, oh the classic 1.3 NATO. Yeah. In any yeah, case. That's, that's it. <laughs> was that, was that 1-1? One, one? <laughs> yeah, it's 1-1. One, one.
Yeah, those are major downsides to playing Trap Girl on the stage. Although, you have to maintain it strongly the entire time, where it is kind of like the antithesis of certain, of certain gears, where you want to be behind most of the time. Kind of an interesting playstyle that you can use to yeah. make it work. Well, JRX, Trap Gear is a gear that's really good at keeping the lead, but once it loses it, um, you know, it doesn't have a boost or anything like that, so it's really difficult to sort of catch up with Trap Gear in general. It has a very low tornado cost, and it also has tornado boost. So, pretty much, putting down tornadoes has no penalty, no real penalty, as it's uh, essentially your form of speed. But it ends up not really being too fast of a gear, so it doesn't work on most stages. But Egg Factory is one of those stages, you know, a way to get an early lead, you know, get kind of put down tomatoes in the corridor and keep your opponent down. Is that is that Blue Star 2? Yeah, mm. Blue Star 2, definitely not a bad choice on that stage. On a late booster though, kind of a questionable choice, but I don't think it's entirely bad. It's, oh my god, and he hits him with the tornado. Oh, that's really bad. Yeah. Wish is probably like he's almost out of air one now. That was actually really good, dude. Forcing him to miss the item boxes. Oh, yeah. he goes for the extra on top back so he doesn't. Yeah, I think the height should be three. That was actually the time. Yeah. I guess Joe went I I here because he wants to use the max MI. Also, like the, the extra air and speed from the power pass. Use that. But he just. His ring collection is really suffering right now. Going power pass. I think maybe this lap is not a mistake, but it's definitely gonna be a mistake if he doesn't do it for the next round. Oh wow, he jumps way too early. Totally undershooting his jump, missing the top pass. So I think Lyos can just run away with this at this point. He can choose to go through. Lyowitz is giving him really good turbulence right now. He needs to go power pass. Oh, Joe, what are you doing? That might have been a bad idea. Yeah, he's, hard. he's out of air right now, though. It's not even just that. He, yeah, he also oh, couldn't take the turbulence. He chooses to charge jump. Oh, wait. Hold on, fastball. Oh, no, it's not enough. Yeah, he just did. Oh, but... A little bit of miscalculation on Joe's part. Not entirely too good. It's a fine game.